the night that this tragic event happened, the two of you had dinner, correct? Correct. Austin drank a glass of tea, then went to the bathroom, and he vanished. His mother called and said he was over at her house. How far is it to his mother's house? About two miles. How did he get there? Walk. He grabbed a bottle of Wessonol and was going to drink it. She brings him back to the restaurant. What did you do? Grabbed him by the shirt. What is wrong with you? He was totally embarrassed that he left. We got a call about 2 in the morning. The police said, we found Austin. Did they describe what had happened at the scene of the crime? The police said, he's killed two people and eaten them. And the blood that you see is not his own. How did your son wind up in intensive care? He was poisoned. He had inflamed esophagus and stomach, and he almost died. Is it possible he's had some kind of psychotic episode here? That's what I believe. He's had the symptoms for about two weeks prior. I just thought he'd snap out of it. I don't need drugs. That's not being healthy. That's the beginning of his psychosis. He started getting weird. Do you think he was ever involved with steroids? No. He was always proud of the fact that he did it without steroids. Have they allowed you in to see him? No, he's handcuffed to the bed. So he's detained but not charged? Correct. If there's one thing that you want people to know about your son, Austin, what is it? He was a good person. <laughs> An extremely nice, g gentle person. He wouldn't hurt a flea. And I apologize for him. Because my boss would have never done that. No, he would have never done, no, 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 done anything like that. You want to know what happened here? Yeah. I want to talk to him because he will tell the story, even if he's guilty.